All right, guys, welcome back to the jungle, the prehistoric jungle. I have another piece of scatter for you. This is really cool. It's dead dinosaur bones uh, kind of on a mound with uh, a vine kind of weaving through it. So it's really cool craft, super easy to do. And let's hit my table and I'll show you how to make that. All right, crafters, here's one of my dinosaurs I got out of the pack, and you can uh, pick these up in my link below. And I'm going to use some wire cutters and cut two of the legs off on the same side, okay? And just put those aside for a moment. All right, now I'll move on to the next step. And the next step is going to be making the mound that these bones will be sitting on, okay? So I'm going to use two paper towels, fold them over, easy enough, wet them down, just regular water, just regular spray bottle with water in it. And then I'm going to put some uh, glue on that. So it's just my uh, Elmer's glue all. This will harden it up nicely. Then I will use my construction sand. And this is going to be weight. Okay, this is going to be weight in the piece. I'll put some water down, 50% water, 50% white glue. A little bit of glue on top there. And just kind of fold it up into a little mound there. And then I'll just push the dinosaur in there. Kind of get an idea if it's the right size. Looks good. So now I'll just wet some toilet paper now and smush it on top. And this will kind of help smooth it out, right? So same thing. Another wad. And just put it on there. Squish it on there into a nice mound. Until you're satisfied. Squish in the edges. And then push the dino into it. So it kind of makes an impression, an indent into the mound, right? All right, cool. Now I'm going to add some of my 50% uh, water, 50% white glue, and kind of soak it in that. And then I'll put this aside to dry. Okay. Now what I like to use is a fan for this. I have a fan on my links if you want to pick one up. And uh, that'll help speed up the process considerably, right? All righty. Now I've got my favorite glue gun. You can pick that up in my links. And I'm going to glue this to the mound. The mound's all dry. It's uh, been a day or so with the fan blowing on it. And I'm going to push that down. It's kind of wants to bend up a little bit, so I'm going to push it down as I apply it. Hold it down. Okay. And you put some glue around the edge there to uh, get in there and hold it down. So just go around the dyno. Kind of blend it into the mound. And uh, just easy. And I really like this glue gun. It has a nice nozzle, no nice thin nozzle in there on there makes it really easy to do this type of stuff. So just hold that down and uh, now I'm going to start adding some glue to the outside. This will give a nice texture to the mound so it won't just be kind of a flat mound, right? And just drag that metal nozzle again why I like this glue gun and I'll let that harden up for a sec. Now I'm going to start adding the limbs uh, that have kind of fallen down, you know, uh, from the other side of the dyno. And I'll just add those on with my glue gun. And kind of cover that area, that patch where I, I uh, cut with the wire cutter. Kind of cover it up with the glue a little bit. And then I'm going to drag some glue on the on the plates here to kind of give them a little texture. They're a little textureless there. Just a little squirt and then drag the nozzle back and forth. Kind of blend that into the mound. So just couldn't be easier. So now we have a nice dyno applied to this mound. And uh, wait till we add the extras uh, to this. It'll really going to look great. All right, cool. So uh, that's all. The glue's all hardened up. I'm going to use my full strength glue all. And I'm going to add some construction sand here. It's just sand with aggregate in it. And I'll just do patches of glue on here. Okay. And I've just got a kitty litter box here, which makes a really nice way to apply the sand without getting it everywhere. 
and just pour some on. Just I basically essentially just cover the whole object, right? And then apply the fan again and let that sit for a bit. You guys know how I love using pencil shavings for flock, and uh, you can pick one up in the link below if you don't have one. So I just got some pencil shavings, soak them in 50% water, 50% white glue, and then just apply them to the base of the dyno, right? Just kind of over the areas where I've applied the uh, sand. And uh, that's looking really nice, looking really nice. So then I'll black bomb it, which is essentially just spray it, flat black spray paint. And then I'm going to paint it brown, a dark brown, and a little bit lighter brown on the ground around the dyno. The next step to making this look like a jungle overgrown area is to paint my flocking. Uh, the pencil shavings with a bright green, and you can see it looks uh, great on there. Really nice, really nice. Then I'm going to paint the dyno, carefully pick out the bones on the stand with a ivory white. Okay, here's uh, one shot, and I'll do you the back shot so you can see uh, the other direction there. And once that dries, I'm going to apply a golden brown. And what that do is it does is it kind of what that does. <laughs> what that does is it kind of ages the bones a bit and uh, makes them look like they've been there a while. So that's very cool. I love using little plastic plants, and I found this little piece that looks like a vine, so I'm going to use it on the piece. I'm going to hot glue it onto the base, and uh, once I do that, I'll kind of blend it in with a little bit of just a touch up of acrylic paint. And then I'll kind of wind it through the model and make it look like the vine is growing through the model. So pretty cool. Let's let, let's hit the table and see how great this fits into our jungle terrain. And here we are. We have Roderick and Hilga, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Scale here for scale. Let's move those for a sec. And here is our here is our pile of dinosaur bones. I just think they came out great. Uh, the flocking looks really excellent. It looks like it's uh, just vegetation around. The vine looks great. Just kind of weave through the dinosaur and just pin with little hot glue pins, you know, uh, in there and then just touched up with acrylic paint to match. So there we go. I hope you guys enjoyed this craft and I'll see you again. Uh, hey, let's put them back, put them back in their jungle terrain. And I'll see you guys next time for some more uh, jungle terrain with the DMs craft. Hey fellow crafters, I hope you liked the vid, and if you did, why not give me a like? Also, uh, check out the links below. I have affiliated links to all my uh, crafting materials as well as my website that has recommendations, and I get a small kickback from that that does help me expand the channel and try out new materials and that kind of thing. So I appreciate it. It's no extra cost to you. It just gives me a little bit of kickback to support the channel, and I appreciate that. Another thing is I have my Patreon if you want to go to that level, and I have a super secret Facebook group for those people that join the Patreon. I also have extra content that I, that I post on Patreon for those members so consider that if you would and uh, check out my other vids and have fun crafting go forth and craft and have fun gaming